What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Third Person. My name is Chris, and with me, as always, is my buddy Mike. Yes, it is. What's going on there, young man? Woo, assassins! Is what's going on, Mikey? This is episode yes. five. This is this. Um, uh, I'm just messing with the thing here. Episode five. This was a good episode. Um, but before we jump into this episode, there's just a couple things I just wanted to talk about. Okay. Uh, I want to talk about how uh, people are receiving this the show um and the reception it's getting and you know we're on facebook we're in groups we're on twitter instagram a lot of people really enjoy this show um but a lot of people are like kind of criticizing it and and that's fine listen you you don't have to like everything you know that's that's made or out there you know um but you know people are like oh this story it's so simple or it's dumb or this and that and it's like again you don't have to like it you don't even have to watch it so there's no reason to really say that it's dumb, mm-hmm. but okay, you know your opinion. That's that's fine, but you know, I want to I want to say why I I enjoy this show, yes. and what what I'm absolutely in, enjoying, and I've said it before so in the past four episodes, are right now it's the the not the story so much, although the story is starting to get really interesting. It these characters and the actors playing these characters, this. This show has got a lot of older actors and characters uh, like McCullough, like Six, you know, um, uh, uh, like the grocer. I, his name escapes me right now. I, uh, oh, his shit. neighbor. I, his name escapes me. He's in this episode, too. Yeah. Um, and, and, and what I'm saying is I really enjoy these guys because they, they, they've got really good actors, right? And their backstories, and for them to fill out their backstories. Plus, I keep saying it. I love Jenny and Tommy. I love their their uh, rapport with each other. I love their backstory. I just, I really like these characters. Mm-hmm. I'm just really happy watching these characters. The story itself, you know what? I I have a little bit of issue with with the Wu. Like, it's not really explained, and it's not. There's a real reason why they have it. You know what I mean? It's like there's no really it isn't real reason. I think there's a little bit of 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 uh I haven't made there, there haven't been any connections for me as to like the for with 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 Ying Ying and she being the first Wu and then and then like, you know, whatever, you know. Although this episode we do get to see McCullough, which we'll talk about in a minute, which yeah. is which is the only other Wu assassin that we've seen, which was a really good teaser for last season, up oh, season last episode in 4 when he was like I was a Wu. And you're like, "What?" So <laughs> We find that out. We'll get into that in a second. But again, I just wanted to start this video by saying, "I'm stop hating." Yeah, I'm. Listen, I'm personally enjoying it because the characters are fantastic. The actors I enjoy portraying too, yeah. these characters are fantastic. Mm-hmm. You have McCullough's story. You know, you have six. I mean, we're gonna we'll find out more about six later. But you know, and then you have the grocer story. Just them, even just just what is his name? Dang it! I'm you so know, I sorry. Can, I can look. Look it up because it's pissing me off now. I know I wrote it down. I always have his name anyway. But he talks about when he was in Vietnam, you know, and yeah. and and seeing people, you know, his his fellow soldiers die next to him, and you know what I mean. Like it's just it's just some really good acting. There's some really good dialogue, and I just really enjoy it, you know. And you know, Lou and uh, CG, like I'm really I'm 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 liking their, you know, their this is this episode is when they when you know she tells him he's she's a cop, right? Um, yeah. I thought that was pretty cool. One of my favorite parts when they're all talking. So obviously, while you're looking that up, we'll we'll talk about this thing. You know, Kai tells them, "Hey, look, I'm the I'm this I'm a Wu assassin," and he's like, "Yeah, but how can you do that?" And he shows them his face. He shows them, you know, the old chef face and you know Mark Dacascos face, and uh, you know they're like, "Oh my god!" You know, don't worry about it, Mike. Don't worry about it. But yeah, I thought I'll look I it up in a second. Down. When you're talking, I'll look it up. But um yeah so so we got a little good stuff. One of my favorite things, favorite lines for this episode is when uh uh Lou Lewis Tan was like uh I've got blood on me. And he just like walks away. He's just I like guess, yeah. I got blood on me guys. Like what the hell? Get get away from yeah. me. I got blood on me, you know. Uh yeah. so anyway, yeah, it's just, you know, that was again that whole scene. Oh, oh, there's another thing that I want to talk about, but I'll do it after. Okay. Right, Tell me what you thought. <laughs> Tell me your thoughts. Tell me what you think. Yeah, it's it's obviously um, to just to kind of add on to what you said in the beginning um, about people's reactions to the show. 
I personally, I'm really enjoying the show. There was a couple things that I knocked a little bit, maybe about the CGI and stuff, but I'm not going to go crazy about it. I do enjoy this, the story, and it's tough for, for me especially. I'm sure it's tough for Chris too because we didn't binge all of this. You guys are watching these episodes. We're doing like two at a time. Mr. Young. So there's a lot Sorry. of – yeah, there's, there's a Mr. lot Young. of times. Mr. Young. Mr. Young. That, Sorry, guys. Okay. Um, so – for us, it's like oh, I want to watch more. I want to watch more. Maybe we'll binge the last few. Well, that I we mean, have you know, yeah, we're we're but, a couple. Of, we're we're not. Yeah. We're a couple, so anyway, this is episode five. We're a couple ahead, but yeah, we're trying to keep it so, exactly, yeah. exactly. So anyway, I'm really enjoying the show. I know that we even Al Chris he said that you know initially he didn't necessarily like it, and then he watched Dark it and Side gave it, reviews. Yeah, gave it, YouTube, yeah, yeah, gave it another ch- gave it another chance. So you're never gonna please everybody. So whatever. Um, to move to move on and really get into this episode for me is um, besides the fact that uh, now we now we have our our gang and there's a group of dead Russians all over the place. Uh, the McCullough stuff was one of my favorite parts of the of this episode, and it's really it's really this backstory based episode, really. Anyway, so this episode really is just giving us um, the story of the Wood Woo and 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 how he uh, became a Wu assassin in the first place, and his family was killed by the water woo which i thought was really interesting stuff um and you see mccullough as a character that uh, loves his family so much that he feels that he can by killing himself he can bring them back well the and thing is 500 yeah, he, years later yeah he's still dealing with that was um, the pain. so i did enjoy you know the mccullough well that's, side of this that's what i'm saying dude that's what i'm saying like that 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 story alone is just that it starts to kick in. Like you're starting to get some really good lore here. And the guy who plays McCullough, Tommy Flanagan, yeah, he's you know, a great he, actor. Dude, too, he's from so. Braveheart, dude. Yeah, you know what I mean. Like I think he got his start in Braveheart. He was in. Um, wasn't he? A, what was the movie he was in? Didn't he have the scar down his? Well, Braveheart. Yeah. That, no, that, no, he, no. He was like a villain in one of these like action movies. Oh, probably. Like, yeah, he's been in a bunch of stuff. I yeah. mean, I, I could look it up, but. Oh yeah, but the thing is, is that he 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 does he does. I mean, he, he's. I've I've always kind of liked this actor. I've always liked him since I saw him in like Braveheart, and then he was in Gladiator. He was in he's in like a lot of period pieces and stuff, right? Yeah. But I just really enjoyed seeing him like this, and it just it brought me. I remember I rem, Braveheart's one of my favorite movies, so like I was like, oh yeah, it's like you know back in 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 that time, mm-hmm. and I just think it's really interesting how. The Wu assassins are chosen from any any time and any place, whenever, wherever. And I thought that was really cool. We don't know why he was chosen, but he was chosen. And then he, you know, he ends up getting it. And like you said, uh, that water tornado that killed his family was pretty sick. You know what I mean? Like, this is some very interesting stuff. I, I like how, you know, the fight with with the water Wu and then you find out, like you said, he, you know, with the, with the wood Wu. Now, I didn't understand the time what he was doing. I'm like... He kills himself. Well, you didn't. You didn't. Yeah, no. Yeah. And yeah. then, and then you're like, and then I'm like, oh, that's right. She said that the the wood woo can heal. Yeah. So he just he just was like, oh well, I can bring. But he misunderstood, and he's like, I can bring my family back. So, mm-hmm. so, so now you're looking at you're looking at it's almost like Highlander in a way. You know what I mean? Like it's just like it's like this show's got so many cool elements, and 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 mm-hmm. and he says and he says to six, listen, I. I'm in contact with all the other Wu. We can we can take over this world. Now, at this point, we don't know what, how Six got his power, so we're going to get into that mm-hmm. um, next episode. But, yeah, dude, I just I just really enjoyed this episode for, you know, for those reasons. Um, well, the scene with Six really at the desk and he's trying to intimidate McCullough before he realizes who McCullough is is cool. Yeah. Because he's trying to, like, burn the papers and stuff on the guy's desk and he's able to just... He just fucking... Yeah, just close it Just put it out. Shuts it so, down. Yeah. Um, you know, so, yeah, like, again, this this episode is full of, like, older guys talking about their past and I just fucking loved it. I loved it. It's yeah. so good. Because, um, you know what, he has all this information and even Six doesn't even know. Six knows he has a power. Six doesn't know shit. Yeah, but he doesn't know, you no, know anything that about it. Except, and, except and he does have those scrolls, which which we'll get into. So, yeah. you know, long story short, Kai decides that he's gonna have to kill Six, but he wants to do. He doesn't want to like stab him or nothing. He's gonna thinks he's gonna uh, poison him. Yeah, with the, with uh, some soup, right? So he brings yeah. it to him, whatever, and 
you know, Six tells him, "Now, nah, look, I, I, I know you're the, I know the, you're the assassin, but listen, I met with McCullough. He's, he's batshit crazy. He's in contact with the other Wu. He wants to take over the world. I need your help." Yeah. And then that's where that episode ends. Mm-hmm. You know, um, but, but again, I just, I really enjoyed, you know, the group come. I, I love a good ensemble, and I love a group coming together. And I, and, I, and the scene where Kai tells his friends. Those are like his closest friends, his oldest friends, yeah. right? Where he tells them, and they all have to like come together now, and they have to figure shit out. And I like it, man. I just I, get I like rid of it. Bodies that are you know, and clean up the blood. Oh yeah. Speaking of which, Tommy. Of course, Tommy's gonna find the fucking drugs. Yeah. Right. So we'll see. You know, we'll see how that pans out. But yeah, I don't know, man. This is a good episode. This is another good episode. I I really enjoyed it. That opening scene was really tense, with uh, CG and and Lucian fighting. Uh, no music. They're mm-hmm. just fighting for their lives. Yeah. You know, like the the fight, the fight with the gun. Like that's just some really cool shit. Uh, when you know Lou fighting with the with the guy with the gun and like you know CG just taking her taking her licks but getting the better fighting two guys at once. She's always fighting multiple guys, which is yeah, fucking right? crazy. I love it. I love that's it. True. She's she's that's down true. and dirty. I like I like her fighting style. You know. Yeah. So I don't know, man. Again, good stuff. Uh, that's really good. Oh oh, and and finally, Zan just couldn't help herself. Jenny, Jenny shows up. We're gonna see how this, how the plan is supposed to work out. Like, so they have this plan, right? To get, to, this was the plan to get six alone is to bait Zan to come and fight Jenny, and then Kai can go in and give him that soup. But Zan couldn't help herself, man. You know. That's right. That's right. So uh, I think we got wrapped up episode five of Wu Assassins. Uh, like always, write in the comment section, guys. We love hearing from you. And um, hey, the pros and the cons. Whatever you want to write in there, let us know. Uh, we like to uh, like to hear from the viewers, of course. Third Person Pod on all the social media outlets, thirdpersonpod.com. In this Google search, will get you right to our, our YouTube channel. So check it out. Um, we're done a, doing a lot of cool stuff right now. We have a couple cool interviews that we posted up there with John Bruno, the special effects legend. Uh, look him up. He's just, I mean, before, it, it's just insane what, what, what this guy's body of work is. He's an Oscar winner for The Abyss. Check him out. It's really, really interesting stuff. He worked on Nosferatu. He, yes. So that's yes. why we interviewed him. That's he worked right. on and Nosferatu. It turns out that uh, he gave us a little bit more time than... Uh, it was just fantastic. We talked about a lot of the classic stuff that he worked on. So check those out. Um, we're also doing the Terror uh, Infamy. There you go. Right? You Is got that it. right? Yep. Uh, <laughs> so if you're a fan of that show on AMC, it's a great series, really creepy. It's only about three episodes in, so you guys can catch up rather quick. Sure. Uh, really, really cool stuff. So we're all over the place. I hope you're enjoying our content. And if you haven't watched any of the shows that we just mentioned, um, give them a try because, uh, you know, we like to try to do some interesting shows. So hopefully you'll like them too. Uh, yeah, that's it. I was going to say, I, I didn't say the title of this episode. I believe it's pronounced Kad Lassam. I believe that's what I believe that means like restful sleep or peaceful sleep, I think. Is that what that I is? I think that's what that means, yeah. So that could be oh, well, in reference you have, to his I mean, family. You don't, really, you don't really speak Cantonese too uh, too often, right? No, no, not really. Is that so, Cantonese, though? Yeah. Okay. It's Chinese. Well, Cantonese is a dialect. Or Mandarin is also Yeah, Chinese, Mandarin right? and Cantonese, yes. Right. Um, but anyway, I think it means peaceful sleep, and I, it might be in reference to his wife and kid? Alistair's uh, McCullough's yeah, wife and kid, yeah, possibly. Like it could be. Could um, be. Or what he tried to do to Six, what Kai tried to do. Yeah. Anyway, whatever. I just wanted to try and uh, get anyway. that out there. So. so, yeah, once again, everything Mike said, uh, thank you for watching. Uh, so, yeah, enjoy the show. It's a fun show. It's a fun show, guys. Just, just it, It's just some, some good fun, good, clean fun. You know, just get in it and love it. All right? We'll see you get next it. time for Assassin's. Thanks for watching. Peace.